on the 20th of May 2009, a group of Singaporeans earned a place in history when they reached the summit of the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest. Scaling Mount Everest was a five-year project. The idea of forming the Singapore Women's Everest team came from two team members, Jane Lee and Sim Yi Hui. In mountaineering, Everest is like the gold standard. We felt that there was a very strong symbolic significance of Everest, you know, because it represents like doing your best, it represents like breaking your own boundaries. So we thought that we would just go one step further and aim for Mount Everest. They made it very clear to us that fitness is an asset, but it's not something that they are looking for. They are looking for commitment. A large part of the process was uh, actually self-elimination. Because we go on a training climb every year to climb a mountain of increasing altitude, and after every year, there were people who actually dropped out on their own. To prepare for their greatest expedition, the team members had to stretch their physical and mental capabilities. Singapore is not blessed with any mountains or cold weather, so we had to do a lot of improvisation. And when we go up the 30-storey block 10 times with a loaded backpack and uh, ankle weights, we also go overseas for climbs and we are exposed to the actual high altitude and the cold to gain experience on the mountain itself and also to see how we can work with one another. By 2008, their confidence and experience had grown and they set their sights on Mount Everest, only to find out that they have to face a bigger obstacle that will set them back another year. One of the most painful decisions was the, actually the decision to postpone the climb I think we were all very, very disappointed knowing that we were all prepared, we were all trained, but we had to be held back because of the lack of funds. We would take the opportunity to, to source one more fund and that's how we got Natas in as our title sponsor, along with a Lee Foundation as True Marine. And that is what makes our dream possible. After five years of arduous training, the members of the Singapore Women's Everest team were finally ready for the climb of their lives. When we arrived at the base camp, I see it this way as in we have arrived at the start line of a run. We always uh, hear people saying that uh, being able to be at the start line is already a winner. This is the Kumbu Ice Fall and it's crumbling. There's this very famous section, it's known as the Kumbu Ice Fall. So many people regard the Kumbu Ice Fall as the most dangerous and technical part of the climb because this is where the ground is very, very unstable. About 60% of the deaths on Everest happen within the Kumbu Ice Fall. It only serves to remind us that uh, certain things are beyond our control. But even then, uh, I would say that um, we have the support of each other to see us through all these encounters and experiences. On May 20th, 2009, standing 8,850 meters above sea level, the Singapore Women's Everest team reached the highest peak of Mount Everest. When I first reached the summit, I was standing there and like looking around wondering if this is really it. It was very very overwhelming. We all actually huddled together. We all cried, partly also because we succeeded. I really feel very privileged to be part of the team. Privileged that we have had such a safe and successful climb. The historic feat that these young women achieved has also inspired the people around them. It really does send a very strong message. If you just put your mind to it, yeah, you can do anything. I'm very proud of her. And in fact, she is my inspiration as well. Mountaineering is quite a men's sport generally, but for a team of women to have done it is really extraordinary. Whatever you perceive the limits are, every one of them uh, can be broken. In many ways, she is also my teacher as well. It also urges me on in life that if I put my mind to something, I can achieve it. I think she's the perfect epitome of that. If they can make it you know, to Mount Everest, whatever they do, I think there will be no barrier. The Singapore Women's Everest team is a living testament of how you can turn your dreams into reality. These six young achievers defied boundaries and have become empowering examples for the next generation. I think that nothing is going to ever break this bond between us because we've lived through so much together. Yeah, so that's truly what I'm most proud of, the fact that the team has stayed together after these five years. We always tell people, you know, to us, Everest is a physical mountain, but to you, it can be anything. Honestly, the whole thing, I'm getting braver just because I've climbed the mountain. But I do know the feelings that I will have whenever I embark on something unknown and uncertain. As long as you have your goal inside, you keep on going. And one day, you're going to reach it and people are all going to celebrate your victory with you. Nothing should stop us from doing something that we have passion about. You have to move up, take that step to see whether it is possible or not before you, you think that it is totally out of the question.
with the right attitude, with the passion, it's possible to, to go all the way and eventually succeed. The next immediate Everest that we're going to face is actually writing our book together to document our five-year journey. And then from there, we hope that our story can touch more people and encourage them to climb their own Everest.